guys we're getting ready to test this bad boy out I found some rotors uh, put an ad on Craigslist to get rid of all my scrap and the person who brings me a rotor or a couple rotors and a couple drums gets my scrap and I threw in a bunch of copper just to make sure that uh, they uh, did it and it wasn't a half hour I had two rotors and two drums so the first one I have on there and uh, I need to get a spanner wrench or make one uh, I had to double the time wiring this bad boy because somebody had it wired wrong and it's a good thing that uh, I didn't run it very long because it would have fried but anyway um, we're gonna start this up and see if this thing cuts I hope the blades are good And it moves really slow.
Alright guys. Nice pretty surfaces. Uh, both sides. Nice and smooth. And I like the round bits. Uh, the only problem with the round bits is if you look here, let me bring you in here. Get you a little closer here. If you look, there's a little step up, just barely on the edge of it, that I can't get to because if I go any further that way with it, I'm going to be into this part right here. So, I mean, it's not a big deal, but there's just a tiny bit of a lip there because it's a round bit instead of a bit like this. Now, I tried this one, but it really cut shitty, and these are brand new bits. It, it did a terrible job. So, anyway, uh, I had to use a bungee cord to wrap around it. Uh, yeah, I know it's not what it's called for, but that was the best I could do right now until I can make me one or get me one, uh, a band. But to be quite honest with you, I don't like this lathe. Uh, let me bring you up here so I can talk to you about this lathe. I don't like this lathe for the simple reason. Um, it's just too awkward to, you got to put all this together and then lift it and put it in place and it's, it's got awful heavy once you get the rotor on it and all your adapters. Uh, spacers and cones and stuff like that and it's a god-awful heavy thing to uh, lift around now a regular newer machine you just take the rotor and put it on there put your cone on it and there's really not a whole hell of a lot of more weight that you're carrying just the rotor weight uh, this one here I'm done with it so I'll go ahead and take it out and show you what I mean you know I mean, this thing has just got awful heavy to lift up in there. So, that's, that's a little, little awkward to do. And um, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to sell this one. Um, and see if I can't find me a little more up-to-date one. Um, the drum one I won't have a problem with because it's it's more like a, a newer model. You know, you, you don't have this god awful heavy thing to put in and I got a bad back anyway. And um, I'll sell this one and hopefully triple or more my money back um, and I can pay these off and take the rest of the money and go buy me another uh, uh, rotor lathe and um, it's a plan I don't know how realistic it is but uh, it looks pretty nice. I don't see any reason why anybody wouldn't buy it for a thousand dollars. I mean, it does the job, and it does it well. It's just got awful heavy, you know, to to put the rotors in. Um, you know, that's all right if you're only turning one or two rotors a month, but. I plan to turn more than just one or two a month. Uh, I'd like to turn a bunch of them and 
try to make some money for the shop so that I can put things in the shop that needs to be here. Um, so, uh, there you have it. The uh, Atlas 12 inch swing rotor lathe. Uh, this will be the final one. Uh, the next one will be on the drum machine. And I'm not looking forward to it. This one beat me to death. My back hurts so bad right now, it ain't funny. And um, while I'm at it, I'm going to give you an update. While right before I started recording, the heel, my boot fell off. Uh, This is what I have to do to get this to work. You know, you got to put it in the vise over there, and I need a spanner wrench, and I don't have one, and I don't like doing this. But you basically got to take this thing, do this, put your router on it, put the spacers off, take the coat off, take the router off. Now see, I can handle this weight, you know, if I was just putting it up on there, put the cone on it, tighten it down, I'd be fine. But, um, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It cuts pretty good. As you can see, made a nice surface on it. And they scrapped that. That was, a, that was in the scrap pile. Scrap man brought it to me. And you look how thick that is. We knew what that fit. I could sell it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm about beat. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to go in here, edit this video, and call my buddy Crafty and see what he's up to. And um, you guys have a good one. Later.